and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode of Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about the infraspinatus muscle. The infraspinatus is one of the four rotator cuff muscles. When you think about the rotator cuff, you use the acronym SITS. You have the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres minor, and the subscapularis. Like I said, today's episode is on the infraspinatus. The infraspinatus originates on the infraspinatus fossa, which is located on the posterior scapula, inferior to the spine of the scapula. Its insertion point is the posterior impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus, immediately inferior to the supraspinatus tendon. Its concentric action is external rotation of the shoulder, especially when the arm is down by the side, meaning that it is adducted to zero degrees. The infraspinatus muscle is innervated by the suprascapular nerve from vertebral levels C5 and C6. Again, the infraspinatus is one of the four rotator cuff muscles. It originates on the infraspinatus fossa, which is on the posterior scapula located inferior to the scapular spine. Its insertion point is the posterior impression of the greater tubercle of the humerus immediately inferior to the supraspinatus insertion. Its concentric action is external rotation of the shoulder, especially when the upper arm is down by the side. The innervation of the infraspinatus muscle is the suprascapular nerve from vertebral levels C5 and C6.